In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace a sky and quickly bring it to life using different filters inside On One Photo Raw 2019. So I have this photo here, and I've set the basic tone for the image just by simply using some different sliders in my tone and color pane. But now I want to bring this sky to life, and I want to replace it using some filters inside of effects. And the reason I chose this image is because it has a large tonal sky area that I can use to quickly mask out and replace it with a different filter. So let's head into effects, and I'm gonna add a filter, and I'm gonna add this textures filter. And the reason I'm adding a textures filter is because it allows me to place images and backgrounds and textures on top of my photo so that I can bring in some different elements into it. So I'll just head back into my textures filter and I'll head into my category menu here. I'll head up to my skies option, and then in my texture menu, I'll scroll down and I'll grab a sky component. Let's use this one. And I know that I need to remove this area from the top of my trees and some of the areas in here because it's overlapping on my image. Well, an easy way to do that is to create a color range mask. That way, I can use this large tonal range over here to quickly mask this area out from my trees. So let's head back into this filter and head into the masking options. Now, where it says color range, I'm going to enable it. Now I'll just use this color dropper here and I'll drop it on my sky area. Now if I go in and I view my mask, you'll see it's using that large tonal area to quickly create a mask for me. Well, I'm actually gonna head down and below this color range option, I have my slider that I can use to adjust the value. Watch as I pull this back and remove it from that tree area. Now if I view this filter and I turn it off and on, it's doing a really good job of replacing that sky area. But the filter obviously looks a little crunchy and awkward down here in the water. So I'm just going to grab my masking brush, I'm going to head up to my opacity, and I'm going to lower it to about 50%. Now I'll make my brush size really big, and I'll just brush this out a little bit at a time from my scene. So now if I turn this off and on, it looks a lot more natural. Let's add one more texture filter and bring in a little bit more life. So let's add a filter. I'll add a textures filter. For this filter, I'm actually going to use a texture that I imported into Photo Raw. If you want to import a texture, simply head over to this import button here. So I'll just head into categories and I'll choose my Creative Filters category. And I have this bird texture selected. And down here in Mode, I'm actually going to choose Darker. Then I'm going to head up to my Opacity, and I'm going to make it 100%. Then I'm going to head up to my Opacity for my Masking Brush, and I'm going to turn it up to 100. Now I'm just going to brush these birds out for my scene where I don't want them to be. Now, I'm just going to brush near them so that it kind of makes them look faded. This emulates a slower shutter speed look to make it look like they were flying in the scene. So now let's head over and add a couple filters to stylize this shot. And let's add LUTs. Then I'll just use this nice preset style here. And let's add one more filter. And let's add another textures filter. And let's use, use a nice light leak. I really like how that brings in a nice vintage flair to the photo. 
And to finish the photo off, I'm just going to add a local adjustment layer to darken my sky area up here. So let's head into local adjustments. I'll make sure it's set to darken. I'm going to head up and I'm going to grab my local adjustment gradient. Then I'll just drop this down. I'll rotate it a little bit. Then I'll feather it a bunch to make it look more natural. So now if I hit the backslash key on my keyboard, we've really done a lot to stylize this photo simply by using different filters and a local adjustment layer. 